Hey YouTube, Hill Country Husker. Appreciate you guys checking out my videos. Thanks for all the subscribers. Appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for the comments. Really appreciate it. Keep them coming. Today I want to go over what I'm going to describe as the essential elements of survival. <clears throat> Made some notes, so you'll see me referring to these. I always think it's really good if you've got a uh, important topic and you want to get the information out there to the viewers that that you make you make good notes there's nothing even wrong with working off a script if you will anyway with that said let me get started again I want to talk about the essential elements of survival and this this applies to any situation um, whether it be a, a man-made disaster a natural disaster zombie apocalypse, the end of the world as we know it, shit hit the fan in any manner. Um, my lady's out here talking a little bit about them. These are in no specific order, okay? So it's not like first one is most important, second is next important. These are all essentials that you need to survive. Um, first among those, and, and again, not first, but first one I'm going to talk about, is uh, security. Um, you have to have uh, an element of security for your survival. Uh, this is for your personal protection, for your group protection. Uh, this could include uh, weapons such as firearms, uh, weapons such as <clears throat> baseball bats, uh, whatever. Whatever you're comfortable with and whatever you're proficient with using. Uh, there's also hand-to-hand. Uh, -hand. Uh, you need to learn self-defense, um, some elements of. Uh, the degree to which you go with that, it's personal preference, but you need to be able to, to defend yourself in close quarters. Okay. Um, another aspect here of security is to have a defendable position. Um, you don't just want to be living in a cardboard box out in the middle of a wide open field. You want to have a, 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 def, a defendable position, um, and I'll even say like an impregnable fortress, if you will. You know, uh, back in the medieval days and, and such, they had, uh, you know, that's, that's why they had castles. That's why they had these big fortresses uh, that were defendable, they were impregnable. That's why. That's an essential, essential aspect of their security, okay? Um, you also need to have a defensive perimeter, you know, an area that, you know, this is, this is, this is what you're defending. Uh, you need to be able to have line of sight within that defensible perimeter. Um, avoiding blind spots, avoiding areas where uh, an, an invader or an enemy combatant could take shelter, could seek cover. <clears throat> you don't want to have a blind spot behind you where, where essentially somebody could sneak up behind you this kind of makes makes sense um, and then I also believe that there is safety in numbers uh, and I think that's kind of self-explanatory if it's just me I can only you know I've only got a certain field of vision if, I, if there's two of us then we can double that field of vision if there's three if there's four you get my point okay uh, so that's what I want to say about security uh, sanitation uh, sanitation is an important element of survival uh, you you have to have a means of waste disposal, okay? Uh, and don't just say, well, I'll go poop in the woods. Well, you will, but after a while, that's going to become a problem. Um, you need to have cleaning materials. You need to be able to, uh, to sanitize uh, the area. Um, lots of different things we can talk about on that, whether it be through the use of chemical toilets or, I mean, I want to do some more research, but it's important that sanitation be given a consideration, okay? Medical, obviously. Uh, you're going to want to have first aid kit. Uh, you're going to want to be able to practice preventative medicine, uh, whether that be through um, taking your vitamins, something as simple as that, uh, washing your hands, uh, being able to uh, isolate sick individuals. Um, <clears throat> medical is an essential. Uh, then you also uh, obviously need to have 
have skills. And that's going to be one thing here, uh, should have mentioned earlier, that all through these, these essential elements, is that skills and knowledge are very important. Uh, another essential element, uh, and I didn't mean just to brush over medical, but there's so much to learn about that. Uh, but another essential element is shelter, okay? Uh, and this, this, of course, there's a wide spectrum here when you talk about shelter. You could be talking about a handmade lean-to made out of brush and, and twigs, or you could be talking about a, a super underground bunker that's totally self-sufficient, okay? Runs a spectrum here, but shelter is an essential. Okay, um, and in your shelter, whether it be a tent or a lean-to, a cabin, an underground bunker, it has to be of good sound construction. Okay, I know a lot of times you say, "Why, well, duh, that's obvious. Well, just so you know, it has to be made of good sturdy construction. Uh, obviously, it needs to be waterproof. Uh, it sucks getting wet, especially when it's cold. Um, it needs to be insulated, and it also needs to be ventilated. Okay, don't overlook that. Insulated and ventilated. And again, I don't care if, if you're in a, a lean-to, tent, uh, camper trailer, or a bunker. It has to be insulated and ventilated. Um, <clears throat> another element. Essential is food. Now, you can stockpile freeze dried MREs, uh, you could do home canning, uh, you can stockpile store bought canned goods. These are all, these are all great. All great. But what happens when it runs out? What happens when your stockpile runs out? Uh, so, you need to consider uh, sustainable crops and sustainable livestock. Um, and also foraging and hunting. There's nothing wrong with that as a viable food source. Uh, depending upon where you live, there's probably lots of edible plants that uh, educate yourself on. And again, skills, knowledge coming into play here. Uh, hunting, trapping, snaring, it's all good. Learn what you can about it. Water. You cannot live without water, okay? Um, if you're near a natural source, a lake or a river or a stream, uh, that's awesome. If you have access to a well, that's great too. Uh, but you also need to consider uh, rainwater collection, um, whether it be a rain barrel or, 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 or what, reuse pit something, okay, that you can collect rainwater. Uh, and then in some instances, depending upon where you live, you might also want to consider what um, I call dew collection. You know, you can, you can build solar stills that will collect the dew from overnight, and, and that's good drinkable, actually distilled water. It's very, very, very pure. Um, on that, <clears throat> purification. You have to have a means of purifying your water if you're getting it out of a lake or a stream uh, or even a rain barrel for that matter. Uh, boiling, obviously. Uh, you can have chemical purification um, or filters. Uh, there are a lot of commercial filters that, that you can purchase. Uh, there's a lot of uh, homemade uh, filters that can be made as well. So again, learn. Acquire the knowledge. Um, heat source. Being warm is good. Being able to uh, cook your food is good. Uh, obviously, being able to boil your water is essential. Uh, so your heat sources, a uh, source of fire, uh, wood, obviously, uh, but then again, that needs to be something that, you know, sustainable. Uh, propane, uh, propane is good for uh, camp stoves and for heating and such like that, but of course it's limited. You can only stockpile so much and then it's, it's gonna be gone. Uh, and also, also electricity, uh, <clears throat> whether it be in the form of a, of a generator, which obviously is going to be uh, requiring fuel, uh, whether it be propane or gasoline or diesel, 
Uh, there's also solar and there's also uh, wind uh, generation that you can use uh, to generate electricity that can be used to generate heat, etc. Uh, for cooking and for heating yourselves. Um, those are essentials. Now, I mentioned this a couple times throughout this video. Knowledge and skills. Gain those now while you can, whether it be through uh, websites on the internet. YouTube has a lot of great information. Uh, there are some really good reference books. Um, there, the information is out there. There are classes that you can take. Uh, whether you get involved in your local community through the first aid uh, or through some of the um, county extension classes that are offered. I know a lot of times the local junior colleges and community colleges will offer a wide variety of classes, uh, sometimes for free, sometimes for a minimal per credit cost. Um, anyway, acquire the skills, acquire the knowledge, acquire the reference material whether it be taking your own notes, compiling your own, your own notebook, your own little uh, survival encyclopedia, if you will. Um, get, get those and have them not, not just in elect, an electronic form, but also in a, in a book. You see, I've, I've got a lot of books. Um, because if there's a, a power outage, a EMP, if you don't have your computer or your, your smartphone or your laptop or whatever it is, you're going to need a paper copy, okay? Um, common sense. Use common sense in all of this. Use common sense. Uh, bounce ideas off of others. Common sense. I just can't say enough about that. And, and it's again, it's one of those things you think would be self-explanatory, but a lot of times it's not. Use common sense. All right, guys. Uh, I want to mention real quickly some other mentions, and 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 I don't really view these as essentials. I believe, uh, kind of, look, I think these are like, boy, this sure would be nice, okay? Uh, in a shit hit the fan scenario or a doomsday or something's going on. <clears throat> Communications. Um, cell phone towers might be overloaded, so you might have to rely upon a two way radio, ham radio, something like that. Um, Important, essential, you decide. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, transportation. Uh, if, you're, if you're bugging out, obviously, uh, it's going to be important. But again, in this video, I'm just talking about the essential elements. Um, assuming that you've gotten to where you're going to survive, these are the essential elements. But transportation is another one of those considerations. Um, the means of conveyance, uh, whether it be a, a, a cart, or a wagon, a wheelbarrow, truck, something. Uh, transportation is good. You can, you know, vehicles, horses, etc. Bicycles, motorcycles. You get my point. Another one, uh, just a consideration here, is entertainment, uh, diversion, if you will. Um, in stressful situations, everybody needs um, a release. Um, again. I'm just talking about the essential elements. Uh, I think in, in entertainment is a is a good mention, okay? But is it essential to survive at this point? No. Uh, is it a good something to consider? It most certainly is. It most certainly is. Uh, anyway, guys, run along here. Want to wrap it up? I hope you've stuck with me here through this. I know it's been kind of lengthy, uh, but these are just the essential elements of survival. I've been giving it some thought. wanted to put something out there for you guys. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing a follow-up on some of these because uh, they're all important. They are all important. Um, once you think about it, let me have your comments. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I do appreciate that. Uh, God bless. Just my thoughts. Hill Country Husker. Thanks.